hey guys what's going on so in this video we are going to learn how we can install a wireless driver for parrot or kali linux well in case of parrot operating system it comes pre-installed but if you face some issues then you can follow these steps as these steps will work for both parrot operating system and kali linux the reason we are installing a wireless driver is because certain times when you download a kali linux version what happens is when you go ahead and click on this particular button and here you won't find the wireless connection option. The reason is because you don't have a wireless driver. It's as simple as that. So if you're in Parrot operating system as well, if you go ahead and click on this particular button and inside that if you don't find any option for wireless connection, as you can see it's just for wired connection but there is no option for wireless connection. This means that you don't have a wireless driver installed in your virtual machine. So now we are going to install a wireless driver. For that, go to your browser and then type download compat hyphen wireless Kali Linux. Now you will get some options from where you can download the compat wireless, but most of the links doesn't work. So go ahead and click on this particular link that is index of slash sources slash by the way I'll provide you with the link in the description below so you go ahead you can go ahead and click on that now this will open up indexes now scroll down or search for compat hit enter and you need to select a specific variant that is 2010.6.28 all right so when you click on it this particular file will be downloaded by the way, I'll provide you with the link in the description below. You just go and click on it and it will download the file. So let me save the file. Hit on OK. And that will save my file in my downloads directory. Let me close everything up. Now the file has been downloaded. Now we need to find the file where we have downloaded it. So let me go ahead and find it. As you can see, it's saved in the download section. I'll click here, right click on it. And then there is this extract here option. When you click on that, all the files will be extracted here as you can see here okay so now we need to open up your terminal in this particular section so go ahead and right click and then choose open terminal here now this will open up your terminal now before moving further you should be the root user so go ahead and switch to root user by typing sudo space su hit enter type the root password let me clear the screen so as you can see now i am the root user and now i'm going to type ls now cd into that directory by the way if you don't understand what commands i am using right now you can go ahead and watch my linux series i will leave the link in the description below or a card will appear at the top right corner so go ahead and hit enter and this will move us into the directory now hit ls as you can see the files are now visible now you need to type the following commands so observe carefully firstly you need to type make unload hit enter now you need to type make load i hit enter now let me clear the screen now if you go ahead and look here you will find the wi-fi network has been added there is wi-fi lan 0 and there is wi-fi lan 1 okay so now if i type if config which will show you all the interfaces available and if i hit enter as you can see i now have lan 0 and wlan 1 these are both for wireless networks if I type iwconfig, then it will only show me the wireless interfaces. So these are all the wireless interfaces, LAN 0 and WLAN 1. Alright. So that's how you install a wireless driver into your Kali Linux. You can follow the same for Parrot operating system as well. So that's all for this video. So in the next video, I'm going to tell you how you can connect your wireless adapter to your Kali Linux or Parrot operating system and then enable the most crucial monitor mode. So guys, see you in the next video.